A meeting happening right now with community members in the Fruit Cove area. Many are concerned about a proposed development site in their neighborhood. Atia Collins has been sitting in on the meeting at the Geneva Presbyterian Church and she joins us right now from outside. And Atia, what are you hearing from residents this evening? Well, first, I want to tell you just how many people are at this meeting. You can tell by this parking lot. Take a look full of cars. Those are all homeowners, our community members that are inside right now voicing their concerns. They're worried about things like the impact on infrastructure, the impact on traffic, the potential for overcrowding in the school system, and the risk of environmental um, impacts with more people coming with this proposed apartment complex. Now take a look at this map. The proposed apartment complex sits on about 36 acres of land. It's at the intersection of Fruit Cove Road and Route 13. Real estate development company Rise is behind the project. Tonight, I counted more than 50 homeowners, but it's probably closer to 100 homeowners inside of the church for tonight's community meeting. When they walked in, they were handed flyers with a list of questions about the development, its impact on the community, and the future timeline. Unfortunately, however, developers are not here to answer those questions. So tonight's meeting is focused on comp compiling community concerns. Many of, home, many of the homeowners that I talk to have signs in their front yards calling for no apartments and no rezoning. Take a listen. If you look at the size of the property and the proposed development, that's going to put in the neighborhood of 1,200 automobiles a day coming off of and onto Fruit Cove Road. We can't handle that. There is a petition against the development that is going around and being signed right now. The last time I checked, about 5,000 signatures on that petition. Many people inside are wondering, is this a done deal? Well, for the answer for that, I reached out to the St. John's County. They told me they have not received any official documentation for the proposed apartment complex at this time. We will, of course, keep you updated as information comes in. Reporting in Fruit Cove, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.